Hello, welcome back to Once Human, and as you can see, I've played a lot. I've reached tier 5, and that's not actually easy to achieve. Tier 5 is actually one of the hardest things to reach in the game because that's basically the max you can get at the game without having to farm even more. So I think I played about 50 hours or more to reach this point. To be honest, it's not really worth it because the only thing that really, really changes is the way the damage works. So as you can see, from tier 1 to tier 5, it's a massive improvement in damage, but there is a catch. As you can see, tier 1, tier 2, tier 3, tier 4, it's not so such a big deal, right? But tier 5 is exactly 50% more damage. While this is technically also 50% more damage, tier 3 to tier 4 is not as important just because of how easy you can go from tier 3 to tier 4. You can even skip tier 3 completely if you want, but tier 5 is the harder one. I'll be making more videos to explain most of these things and do some tips and tricks videos and maybe some other things. Depends on how much time I have, but I have tier 5 armor. I guess, I don't know, what is my rating? Do I have a rating over here? I don't know where it says. Anyway, 6000 HP and everything is tier 5. Now, sadly there are a lot of things that don't make sense to me and you need a lot of farming to get them. For example, the mods for the gear pieces. The individual gear pieces can have mods. For example, this is my best mod and as you can see it's only applicable to the pants. <laughs> so yeah, good luck with that because you, you'll have basically gear pieces that will need mods and the mods are individually designed for certain gear pieces. So you might get two mods for the pants but nothing for the, the mask let's say. Yeah, you might not get anything from the boots for the boots because some of them will not be really up to your standards. And also, you can enhance the mods themselves, which I think it's a is going to be a bigger problem because look at this. I basically upgraded a mod two times with all of the mod mods uh, I collected. I'm not sure what these are called. They are called something uh, mod parts. Yeah, I collected throughout the entire game. So 50 hours of gameplay only allowed me to click once and twice. On this upgrade button over here. And also, as you can see, I spend most of my Starlink energy, which is again a little weird. I guess I understand how it works, but I guess that's the way it should be. The only thing I'm I'm not sure what I if I understand correctly. Let me look over here. Is my specialization. For example, over here I got the Stardust byproducts and I can craft acid because acid is one of those things you cannot really craft. You can buy it with various currencies, but for that you need to do events and it can be a little bit harder than it seems or looks. I also selected Stardust Hydro Pumps. And now I can get Stardust Source from Polluted Soil. And with the Stardust Source, I can create the Acid. Which seems and sounds like it's amazing, because it takes a very, 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 very long time to make the Acid, which is needed for a lot of other things as well. So yeah, I'm not sure if I'm choosing the right things. It seems like the game is balanced around upgrading your mode. So Tier 5 is actually only the beginning of the journey. So the developers did an amazing job at allowing the player to progress throughout the game through so many different ways but unfortunately as you can see it can get a little bit annoying because you will have to farm more and more and farming more and more doesn't guarantee you'll get better stuff it just guarantees you have a better chance I don't know it's weird also over here I had the chance to get something so I can get more Starlink energy now, the energy link, apparently, you can obtain some deviants that can just give you the Starlink energy on its own. So, apparently, we'll need to create a lot more of this stuff. And also, we need to fight the bosses. After you fight the boss, you have a chance to get a deviant, which I assume it's how most people got a lot of... Uh, anyway, you get the idea. Just fight a lot of bosses to do that. And that's what we'll be doing today. Now, I'm not sure if I can actually achieve that. You can see I did most of my quest except for the for this one, which is the more annoying one. Yeah, it's all about the longer introduction to the video, but I just wanted to tell you how the game kind of evolves over time. So yeah, yeah, this is definitely one of the better options for a survival game, but at the same time... 
can just teleport there. At the same time, I am not sure how this will play out when the game is fully released, because yeah, you'll have a lot of fun just unlocking stuff and doing the bosses, but if you do that once and it seems like it's a season of six, six weeks and then the world resets, I don't think I want to do this again. It's also very hard for me to kind of advance in the game right now. Mostly because there's nothing to do. And when I say there's nothing to do, I mean there's nothing to do that is different from what I did already. So you're basically going to be repeating the same content over and over and over. I think the fun part of the game kind of evaporates at around level 25. Don't shoot me. Because then you didn't maintain your gear and you need to maintain it with a lot of other nonsense. So yeah, I guess sometimes you'll just have a, an amazing game by just getting all of the mods you need, by getting all of the blueprints you need, and sometimes you'll just have a very, very bad game because you don't get anything from the stuff you like or need. Hmm. Oh, did it show that like it was new? I guess it was new. These are all of the blueprints I unlocked, as you can see. Events is not even that many. I think I have unlocked about 50% of the blueprints in the game or a little more. Armor, not a chance. Some of these things will be super hard to get. As you can see, some of the sets will have only a few passives, but the ones that you really want to get are these ones. And we have the Juggernaut one. I am not sure I can defeat this particular boss solo, because I'm only level 40. But since level doesn't really matter that much in the game, except for the stuff you can equip, maybe we have a chance. I guess it depends. We'll just have to see how it is right now. We'll have grenades, but they're not as good as they sound. Got to put that there. Okay, let's give it a go. This is the boss already defeated as a shadow form in the main quest of the game. So you have to do the main quest of the game. I don't think I want to get outside. I think I like my house. Yeah, and it will fall down from there. Was sleeping. the whole fight I had some cover, but here I don't have any cover. What does that do? Now you cannot seem to find this weak spot. Oh, I hate this. Of 
very much from the ashes of that. Oh, those are the hits I need to be doing. Good luck with that. I, I don't think I like this type of gameplay where they just say in for the weak spot, really. And how you do you suppose I do that? Also, it changes my weapons, yeah. What happened over here? Yeah, I don't like this. I guess it's still in the bed and that's why it seems like it's a little bit weird, but... Come on, game. It's freezing like freeze. I don't think I like these boss fights. They seem interesting and fun and in... I don't know. So the main problem is, as you can see, the boss fights will look very interesting and fun to do, but if you do them alone, it's just unfair. There are also a lot of bugs currently in the game. Definitely dodge that. Man, there are so many bugs. It seems like it's very hard to control your character. It's not as responsive as I would have liked character to be to my controls, especially because you are fighting in water and it seems like this is slowing me down. As you can see, even if you, the animation for the, the healing goes off, it will not heal you. There, as you can see, my camera suddenly tilts to a side. I'm not sure if it's because of my mouse or because of the way the game is designed. I'll just say it's because of the way the game is designed. And these adrenaline shots are super expensive. Wow, 
Hits. The invisible walls the, the arena walls not really helping the game. Don't change the first camera perspective so brutally. Okay, we won that just because I had enough activators. You know how you get the activators or the adrenaline shots? Well, through the events and through some other stuff. Okay, let's just get our reward. Let's get out of here. So this was my first attempt ever at the boss. And as you can see, we're getting mods, but some of them will not be usable for by us. Getting some dialogue from Ran, which is the girl we saved a while back. And before you leave, don't forget to synchronize this thing. Not so much for the for that. Okay, you can shoot those and it will be okay. Okay, boss. Hit it. Feel, feel very afraid. <laughs> I guess this needs a little bit of... yeah. You feel like you're in super slow motion. Ah. I see, so you need to use these things to get a lot of distance between you and the boss. Well, the boss is not so hard then. The only thing I don't understand is how it killed me with those one-shot things. I mean, if the developers want you to do the boss fight before you do the boss fight in the quest world, well, it's actually... Kind of like a much easier fight in a different arena maybe. Why don't they just give you the whole mechanics of the fight in that arena? Because I didn't know about the portals. Anyway, I guess that's not so bad. But now the problem is you have to repair all of your equipment. You have to repair your weapons maybe. Your weapons, your armor. And you also probably need more ammunition. And some people have been level 50 for such a long time. I'm not even joking, they have been 54. They have been level 50 from the first 5 days of the game. I mean, the first 5 days of the game, you can definitely go up to level 50. As time passes, some things will unlock as well, but not as many as you think. Also, the game has an Aetherland, which is basically like your own instance. It's, you think of it like a, another scroll's house, where you just go over there and build stuff. You need to deposit some resources. Uh, it, it's a weird mechanic. I'll probably explain it in another video. And after you defeat one of the story bosses, you speak with this little girl again. It's also weird that they didn't voice act the main dialogue of the game for the main quest, but they voice line other stuff. Betrayed me. Better than not expecting now the week. It was an ambush. Yeah. You must understand the true nature. So as you can see, you need to complete the bosses. You need to kill the boss at least once in the main quest in order to be able to progress. To the next areas. Now, what do I mean by progressing to the next areas? Well, if you don't have the quest, you cannot use the stabilizer gates, and if you cannot use the state, uh, I think it's just better to show you. If you don't have the quest to stabilize the rift anchors, you cannot get the rewards that are basically blueprints. 
So as you can see, I have those, but some of the other areas, which they actually there's not that many areas left. Even though I completed them, I cannot really get the rewards. And as you can see, there's nothing there almost. Yeah, I cannot lock down those rift anchors just yet. Even though I completed some of the objectives. Is this not? No. Eh, it doesn't matter. Uh, let's just go over here. Tall grass. I guess we can just teleport back home and then back there. And now I'm entering the final portion of the game, which just basically means I mean you can get all of the materials, you can craft your weapons and your gear so much faster, but you don't have access to the blueprints. So by not having access to the blueprints, you will probably not be able to have other stuff as well. I mean Crafting this heavy duty set required me to go into kind of like the end game of the map, end game areas of the map, and loot the crates. Well, I guess it actually it's not that bad that you cannot activate the rift anchors. Yeah, I'll need two separate videos to explain some of these things because it also will be. It will be hard to understand what the game really is without explaining some of the basic concepts. And the basic concepts are the most complex concepts you'll, you'll learn about in a game like this. I think the developers did a great job at introducing a lot of materials that the player can use to upgrade. But sadly, all of those materials will become only apparent in the end game, in the final phases of the game, where you see you need them, but it's kind of too late to start grabbing them, so you'll have to work a lot. Yeah, you need to start grabbing some materials and doing some stuff the from the beginning. The top of the monolith go out again, so tell me. There's something I have to tell you about your ex-husband. The so-called silent beast attacks were actually committed by Klein. Oh, years back, when Klein first tried to take on the silent beast, it didn't just be please tell me you killed it. The Great One's dead. It won't haunt the tall grass in any... Don't be. I've been mourning the loss of that... Don't worry about it. Me? Supplies are hard to come by, but trouble isn't. There's still plenty of stardust, vultures, and deviants around. Is there anyone who'd be... No one I can think of now. In the meantime, guess I'll just have to do what I can to take care of this place. Okay, that's solved. Now go to, go to Blackfell. Blackfell... Not the region I unlocked pretty early. So I was basically scavenging materials from this region for a very long time for 10 15 hours. I think about 15 hours. Evergreen. And I guess this will give me the quest to finally go and do the stuff I can do over here and open the map up. Now, as you can see, there will be a few issues because I need to. Probably play another 10 to 50 hours to finish this area of the map, this part of the map, and then maybe I'll get some better mods. Maybe I'll, I'll unlock some more interesting armor sets. That's, that's kind of like it for the weapons department. What you get in the beginning is what you lose for the rest of the game, which is a bit, a bit sad. Oh yeah, we'll activate the rift anchor after that. Guided evolution. I have to go outside because the game was not expecting me to have this teleport unlocked. <laughs> I like the mask, I like how the character looks like. The only thing I'm missing is an LMG. And of course, properly armor pants. It looks like we have jeans on. <laughs> okay, let's see what the game tells us now.
This is the main quest, doesn't look like it. Also, you have some bounty missions where you just have to kill some enemies. They are pretty easy to kill. You just go to a location, destroy someone, and then that's it. February 2036. Oh, that one's quite unusual. For start, the target is a well limited. What do you think? Yeah, I guess you can do that. And the game, instead of opening up at this point of the game, kind of closes down on you because at this point you just have a base with most of the stuff built. You don't really need to expand it. I don't know. Probably the game will feature more things and probably the game will feature some high end PvP stuff because right now the PvP is very, very tame. You cannot have player base. You cannot attack the bases of other players. You cannot do a lot of things. Where are we? Anything I can help you? <laughs> ah. He rudely interrupted by someone, but okay. <laughs> Nice character design for her. I feel was founded by my uncle. I mean, you can read if you want. I, I'm just skimming through the dialogue because I'll read it once the game is fully released. That is what? Ah, okay, so I need to go over there and do stuff. Yeah, sure, but before I end the video, I just want to unlock the... I want to activate the Rift Anchor over here. So it gives me a lot of experience and some other stuff. Yeah, I already picked this... I already picked this place clean, as you can see. I think the crate was somewhere over there. Yeah, and that will be another thing. Some people will not like the idea that you have to search for the crates all the time. But I guess they don't mind. Yeah. Oh. I guess I was trying to show the damage my guns can do. This is almost a one shot, almost. I guess it mostly depends on the type of the enemy you're fighting. The enemy has become so tanky and beefy right now. And you need to constantly be collecting that crystal stuff because otherwise you cannot repair your equipment. So I guess the, it's good that your equipment is much more durable right now. I think the other durability was 240 or something like that. But as you can see, the boss fight, this was all new gear. This was brand new gear, never was used in a fight before this, so it was at 400. So the boss fight basically drained 25% of my overall gear durability, which means I'll need to fix it. I guess not the guns, only the rifle got drained. A little bit. Yeah, let's wait over here and shoot. I don't think I like this scope too much. Well, I guess it's more tactical, but I cannot shoot with it. And this is much better. But it's, it looks like a counter-strike gun. And as you can see, this is how easy it is sometimes to level up, but because of the huge amounts of experience we need, this is not really that efficient. I think we're getting about 5 acid from them, where sometimes, maybe. When you see that Stardust Potion is getting worse, that means you need to get out of here, otherwise your sanity will drain and you'll lose max health. Which is kind of like, it's an interesting mechanic, I think I like it now. 
Yeah. So the game does get a lot better at some point, but I don't know. It seems like it's getting a little worse now just because of how expensive it is to repair your equipment. By the way, you can also lose your equipment in certain PvP conditions. So if you are killed in PvP, I think you drop a part of your materials and a part of your armor. I don't think you drop your guns, I hope not. But that's how you get most of your experience. A lot of experience and a lot of materials, especially the ones that you really, really need. And let's go and get rid of that character as well. That's the elite of the area. Yeah, they tend to repeat themselves at this point of the game. I only do that much damage when all of the buffs are up. If you pause... If you cause an explosion with the rifle, you get a damage bonus. And that bonus applies, I think, uh, plus 10% more damage. And you can have 5 stacks of it. So basically 50% more damage. And this is still scary. I mean, you can probably figure out which one is the Mimic. Because they are in places they shouldn't be. If you're wondering what I'm trying to do is... I'm trying to cheese this elite over here by just sitting on the house. I think that's the weak spot. Don't ask why or how. Yeah, that's the only weak spot I know on this enemy. I guess it's the teddy bear's belly as well. I don't know. So we have encounter. Wait. I'm not doing any damage or it just has too much HP? Really? Oh, I think he had a shield and now I destroyed the shield. Yeah, no thank you, I don't... <laughs> it sends the teddy bear after you and the teddy bear explodes. That's kind of creepy and cool. Yeah, no thank you, I don't want to fight you <laughs> in fair combat, you look scary. Oh, the enemies are super scary. So I'm using the tungsten ammo. So yeah, this is the end game ammo I'm using for the rifle because the pistol, well, I guess the pistol is mostly for any enemy. So you can see this does 10% more damage and the steel one does 5% more damage per shot. So yeah, you're basically going to have to scavenge for resources just to have the better ammo. Yeah, this one will also summon a lot of minions. This is why it not very keen in fighting it in melee, or not in melee, on the same level. Oh, he didn't die yet. Ouch, I forgot to press space. Ay, my knees, we did with the bandages. Wait, it didn't drop anything, usually drop something. Well, I guess you can just collect the chest. As you can see, these enemies will sometimes be guarding very important stuff. Platinum crystal. I guess we are getting mods, but as you can see, we're not really getting the good mods. We're not getting the special ones, the more interesting ones. So I'll have to...
That's great over there. This is an interesting construction. I guess you can put two turrets on a car. And a chest on top of it. Wait, what? I just put a chest, a solar panel and two turrets over here on the car. What does this even work? Okay, that was interesting and weird. Yeah, I have to do this all over again, find the chest, do that and do that, blah blah blah. The AI is not very aggressive to be honest, I think this will be changed in the full release. things I don't really like about the game. They can just box you in a little area and as you can see you start getting ports now. Oh he has a gun! Don't bring a gun into the hospital you maniac. So if you're wondering, I have a mod that gives me two bullets in the gun when I kill an enemy. So that's why it seems like I don't need to reload. <laughs> in reality, I need to reload very, very often. No reload is needed. when they shoot at you, of course. That's such a great mod. Why do you really want me to infiltrate the Rosetta Institute? I guess that's not so bad. Okay. He was here. Oh, I also forgot to use the canine deviant. Probably it will be the upgrade that I'm waiting for, since the other ones don't really do much in combat. You can also completely play the entire game without ever having to deal with the mechanics that are related to base that? building. I guess you can just make the craft. Did you hear that? You will hear the did you hear that so many times. This was a bad idea, I should have thought it about it better. Oh, I don't have an access card. That's sad. Minus 5 stack? What is even that supposed to be? I don't know. 
I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess I'll just finish the rest of the stuff off camera because it's not even that important. They mostly changed some of the stuff from the previous beta. Okay, let's do a safety heal. Find the lost Dennis. Hey, imagine if you don't shoot that. Yeah, happy tree friends. I looked at it. Come on, really, game. Yeah, I guess that's that's why it's in a close beta. I guess it will just drag me out of the thing and... Oh man, some of these quests are so annoying. It, some of the quests really take you 20, 30, 40, 50, one hour to complete and you don't even know that when you start them. Let's try that again. I mean, I didn't do anything wrong, it's just that the game froze, and if the game freezes, it doesn't... <clears throat> it didn't take into account my movement. Also, my light doesn't work here, in case you're wondering why it's so dark. So go all the way at the end of the hallway, it freezes over there. I guess I get the idea and I like the concept, but it still is a bit random. <laughs> Don't drop your pipe, man. <laughs> what's, what's this comedy over here? Yeah, I'm in a life and death situation, but let me, let me keep my pipe for emotional support. I don't think they made it out alive. I think he wanted to say Eureka when he looks at the ventilation shaft and holds up its pipe. Maybe if you could throw away the pipe you would Insert meme over here. No.
I'm just eating some lunch. Yes, we can use our light again. Let's get the loot, make the goggles. I guess that's kind of like the end game stuff we're getting right now. What is happening over here? You should know there was an elite over here that dropped the Rosetta V2 card that allowed me to open those things, but I guess not now, or I guess you are just killed. Wait, did I fail the entire quest because it didn't take my progression into account? Maybe. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Maybe, probably. Did you hear that? Who's there? Attack! 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 I don't care about the crates, leave me alone. Yeah, the game will probably make me do this all over again. Okay, let's do this all over again then. I guess I... <clears throat> I cannot be too upset, it's the beta, that's why... It's so I spaced again, but he didn't actually take that egg. Did you hear that? I have one bullet left. to make the sanity stuff you just need guess what sugar that's actually pretty easy to make these supplies but i guess the problem is oh okay it actually counted nice so now i have the quest to just do what i've been doing the whole game and activate another six rift anchors over here which will probably be enough to unlock the final boss probably is the forsaken monolith I'm not sure what this is, the Evolution Institute. Yeah, probably I'll do all of this and that and we'll probably see one more episode of the story or of the game. I don't think I can kill the last boss alone. I struggled so much on that other one and I basically had all of the gear I needed. Tier 5, so I cannot imagine how hard that other one will be. Or may I goggles? I guess I should unlock all of the things, but to be honest, except for the yellow paint mask, I think I'm pretty satisfied with my heavy duty helmet. I guess I need better pants, but other than that, it's okay. Well, I guess it's farming time. See you next time. Bye-bye. Oh yeah, I need to manually close the game.